Luckily, I just got the day off. I have an appointment to get my blow box removed. This is the last time this fucking thing is going to be in my vehicle and it's gone for the rest of my life, which is going to be absolutely amazing. But yeah, it's a pretty degenerate thing to even have one of these things in my vehicle. But listen, I got it when I was in 2018. But I got the day off for it, so that means I can just grind and I can make some content for once in my life and have a full, like, dedicated day. That's just meant for content. And I'm going to utilize this whole day and milk it all out. But yeah, I wish I woke up a little sooner at like 6 or 5 at least, just so I could you know, get a little more time out of the day. But I did go to bed yesterday at like 1.30. The day before I went to bed at 1.30. The day before I went to bed at 1.30. So honestly, but yeah, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because yesterday I was staying up late just so I could work on some reels anyways. So like the content is still getting worked on. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm also gonna go to this town that's half an hour away and I'm gonna get a block heater from Walmart because my place is just absolutely freezing. The only time I feel decently warm or room temperature is when I'm like deep and covered in my blankets and it just sucks I'm not gonna lie it makes it a lot harder to get out of bed in the morning because it is so cold outside and just so warm in my bed it's only gonna get colder and colder and colder so that's something I gotta pick up ASAP while I have the time I just got my blow box removed and now man I am starving like, I am so hungry I skipped out on getting Tim Hortons in the morning because I was running just a little bit late so I wanted to get there on time so I had to skimp out on that and now I am just absolutely starving but the only issue is is that my license is suspended. Like, oh my God, process after process, they make it so difficult and complicated. Like, they just drag it on and milk it out. It's like, I had this thing for 12 months. That's not enough. No, now you gotta suspend the license. But I'm pretty positive that I can just make a phone call to Alberta Transportation and they can just update my file. Hopefully, I don't have to get a brand new license because, yeah, that's just not something I'll be looking forward to. But anyways, I'm still fucking driving. Like, there's no way I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna take a cab back. I'm, no, I'm the only person out here. Um, so, and I got shit to do, so it is what it is, right? But, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a block heater. Um, I'm gonna go get some food first off. And then I'm gonna go call these people and see what the heck is going on. But, uh, yeah. Peace. Well, let's go get this block heater. This is essential. This is one of those essential items that I just need to pick up. I'm not even playing. And after that, I'm not spending any more money because I came here probably like three days ago. Spent one of the biggest bags I've ever spent. I bought like some Bose headphones, which were like $500. And then I got some sport shoes. And then I got some pre-workout. And I don't even be spending money like that. So yeah, after this, it's cut off. It's done. But I do need a block heater. In the morning, it's like minus six in my cabin. Or at least it feels like that. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. And the only time I feel warm or comfortable is when I'm under some blankets. So yeah, it's definitely time for a block heater before, you know, it gets to like minus 40 or something crazy. So I may get two of those. And that should be good. After that, I'm just going to film some reels and then hit the gym. And the routine continues. Yes, sir. But, but yeah, I'm not not gonna lie today was just like a moody kind of under the weather type vibe and fuck i hate when that happens but like man society is so dead like you look around and all these people got these fucking bitch grins on their face they look miserable they look sad and to be a part of that while you're trying to chase something more and you got so much energy can be draining um i just need to be surrounded by like-minded people i'm not gonna lie and i'm itching for that but anyways enough complaining let's go get this block heater let's go get what we need to get and uh yeah I'm, peace. Well, I'm pretty much done with this place i got the two block heaters that i needed i got a green tea from tim hortons and now it's time to go back home and hit the gym i was trying to get a whole bunch of clips here but i'm not gonna lie like everything's just fucking the same to me it's like mountains more mountains more fucking mountains uh maybe i'm making i am making excuses i know that and that's what kind of pisses me off because i know i'm making excuses which is just not helping at all but uh yeah, man, it's just weird, like, when you're the only one doing this thing, and you gotta film out in public, and it's just, you look crazy. But, uh, like, I don't give a fuck, man. I got shit I wanna do, and when you look around in society, none of these people are happy. And I don't wanna be one of those people who are looking back on life, and like, damn, you know what I mean? I should've just been that weird dude doing what I actually loved. To a certain extent, when you start doing your own thing that you actually enjoy, and the more obsessive and the more serious, oh, my fucking tea just dropped on my dick, oh my god. The more obsessive and the more serious you start to take it, the more crazy you'll seem to everybody else because they'll be like, what the heck, like, what is this dude doing? Because they can't see your vision. They can't see what you got going on. So, yeah, it's a very lonely path, but that's the way it has to be because you don't want any other outside influence. You know what I mean? Sucking that source of inspiration out of you because a lot of people, they don't even believe in themselves. Um, and they have fucking nothing good to say anyway, so that's why you got to be alone. Like, if you got some huge-ass beliefs or huge desires, you got to walk your own path or find like-minded people. 
to find those like-minded people, you gotta put in the work first. It's not just gonna happen out of the blue, so you gotta be willing to do that. You just gotta trust the process. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to find something like decently nice that I can take a video. I think I just found it. Okay, I've turned down this road. Oh my god. My hair is looking absolutely maddy and insane. I'm not gonna lie, it's almost time for a haircut, but I just wanna grow it out. It looks kinda sweet. And it is that winter time, so I need to grow it out and get that bear look going on. But uh, yeah, these views are absolutely insane. Like you got the backdrop, you got the fucking mountains, everything's looking spectacular. You got the loud boosted truck in the back. And uh, yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. Filming in public is so awkward and it's so weird. Like, but being a content creator or just making content is something I wanna do and you have to go above and beyond each and every single time. Like every video has to be better than the last. So you're just not gonna, you know, no one's gonna wanna watch your shit. So you gotta overcome that fear. But every time I'm filming in public, I can just feel the judgment left and right. And it is so awkward and it is so weird. And people are just, they weird me the fuck out. Like a lot of these people are so judgmental, but yet they're not doing shit with their lives. Like they will judge you for trying and going above and beyond and look at you like you're the weirdo while they're fucking stuck at a job that they hate and they're not doing shit with their lives. Like it may, like society is so backwards. And, but yeah, it's just something you have to overcome. And honestly, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm a film in public and if someone has some shit to say, and so be it. But uh, yeah, these views are absolutely incredible. Like just how you have a flat field all the way up to the mountains. It looks spectacular. But uh, yeah, off to the next. I'm going to try to milk this for all it's worth. Get all the content I can. Make some reels from it. And then I'm going to move on to the... Okay, well now it's time for the gym. And I'm going to go to this little private gym. I'm not really messing with the public gyms. I'm not going to lie. Like it's just the one I'm going to is getting so crowded. And there's so many people that are starting to go there. That, like, I don't know, it's just too many eyes, and I want to vlog, I want to film, I want to set my camera up. And have a nice, clean shot, and it's just, you know, with having all the people running around and doing their thing, you just can't have it. So, I'm going to go to this gym that's a little more private, if I could even find a parking spot in this damn place. Hopefully, there's uh, at least one. No, there's nothing. Oh, my. Okay, well, scratch that idea. I'm going to have to turn back around. Um, Is that a parking spot? No, it's not. It's cut off. Okay, nice. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to park like 10 minutes away from this place. Holy man. 10 minutes away in this place, there's uh, still barely even a parking spot. Okay, whatever, dude. Oh my god, I guess I'm just gonna park around behind the building. Oh my god. Whatever, at least we found something. But yeah, today was just like... I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Like, I was procrastinating a whole bunch. It's not like me at all, but, oh man, I can't, I don't know. I just keep getting stuck in my head and just, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm going to go in the gym, get some reps in, get some sets in, and clear my mind, bro. But, uh, yeah, and I got to film some reels, too, so. This is why I like to go to a private gym, because everyone at that public gym is always staring and giving me, like, the side eye and the glance, and it's like, man... It happens all the time. Like, someone's always watching or thinking something or doing something, and it's just so extremely annoying. But, um, yeah, not a big deal. It is what it is. And, uh, yeah, man. Or to go to the gym, first thing I see on the debit machine is a uh, no tab. Absolutely. <sighs> Gotta rush back to my car and get my debit. Oh, my Lord. Like, why do you have a machine that doesn't have tab? It makes no sense. <sighs> Dude, I am sweating, like, profusely. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not even working out that hard, but I'm just sweating like crazy. Maybe I'm breaking my limits and I'm not even knowing, like, the sweat don't lie. But yeah, I am never wearing sweats again to a workout. I don't even know why I did this. This is honestly, like, a death wish to wear these. It's just trapping all the heat. I cannot breathe, and I'm probably gonna pass out and hit my head off the ground anytime soon, but you know what? But I just keep going, and I do feel, like, slightly... Not the greatest, like a little bit of sickness. It's been happening so frequently just because I've been overworking myself continuously, like running in the rain, just doing like a whole bunch of random shit, staying up till 1.30, till 1, to whatever, and my body just cannot keep up. But it's gonna have to because I only got one life and I got so many things I gotta do. But anyways, yeah, it's time to get back to the workout. Um, I switched my gym, I might go to this gym or I might just build my own gym because I like that private. I like to be in private just so I can film my own videos and do whatever the fuck I want. So to be in like a public place where everyone's like giving you a side eye, like what are you doing? Type of spiel. Type of deal. 
Mm, but yeah, it's time to shut the flip up, get to work. This is one of those workouts where I just do not want to be here. Like, my mind is in a whole nother place. I'm just gonna close my eyes and get it done. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But anyways. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, we're finished up. My shirt is absolutely drenched. Um, I never used to sweat like this back in the day when I'd work out. But uh, every single time, it doesn't even matter. Like, you just pick up a weight and I'm drenched. But uh, obviously a good thing. Like, I'm sweating out all the toxins and this, that, and the third. But, uh, yeah, I feel drained. It's, but you know what? When you feel drained, you just keep working until you don't feel drained. That's honestly the only way to go. But, yeah, today was just a big L. Like, I had the whole day off. And I kind of just, I don't know, I was stuck in my whole head mostly the whole day and didn't really fucking film anything that was valuable or anything that was amazing or anything that was cool, which kind of just pissed me off because it was a big waste of time. But it just depends how you look at it. You can look at it as an L or a lesson. And personally, for me, it's just a lesson. Like, next time I get some time off, I'm waking up at fucking 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever it may be, and just getting straight to it. But I, I just didn't know what to film because, like, the only thing around here is just some boring-ass mountains. Like, the atmosphere is dead, like, 99% of the time. I'm the only one doing this shit. So it's like, what do you do? But now I've learned. I can just do whatever because I got the personality, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, I am starving. I need some calories. And I am. All right, well, that workout was mid. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even feel a burn in my shoulders, but I still went insane and I'm sweating like this. It just doesn't make sense. But I, I feel like the more you go, the more the levels advance and you gotta do more and you gotta break that limit each and every single time. But uh, yeah, then just search up some fucking shitty ab working on YouTube. And then after that, I just editing content all night and then work tomorrow. Probably gonna stay up till 1.30, try to push it till two, which is absolute insanity, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I like this gym. It's fucking dead, there's no one here. I'm like the other gym. Film some shit and someone will give you a weird side eye, but uh, yeah. I might stick to this one, I'm not sure. Huh? About to go into Booster Juice and I want you to rate my Riz one through a hundred thousand. Like right now, right here is the moment that my game is on the line. It all lies right here. Is this like, Am I going to be single for the rest of my life? Or, like, do I got that just undespicable game? Like, really, no? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go check it out. I'm going to just be weird and stuff my camera in my pocket like I'm not even filming. Like, is that even legal? Probably not. But, uh... But, uh... But, uh... I'm a smooth criminal. Hey! Okay, let's go. Let's actually... I was gonna use my Apple Pay to pay. Oh my God! But now I got my debit card. Hey. Hello. You want some beer? That's good. Hey, what about you, Mel? Your day. Good. Yeah. I'm also. Right. You just steal stuff from here. No. Oh my God. No, oh, I eat this too much, so it's Sick like. Of it. Yeah, I need something. I'm not gonna lie, I knew I had it in the bag and I kind of backed off a bit because she was like showing a little bit of interest and I'm like, mm, that's something I'm about, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need no girl. So I just, you know, pumped the brakes just a little bit and I eased off and I'm like, buddy, if I keep speaking, I'm gonna be in a committed relationship or married, one of the two. Like, my race is off the charts, so I gotta relax. I really gotta relax. I'm a menace. But uh, yeah, I got my food, and I'm excited, dude. Mm. 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 Okay, okay. But uh, yeah, I also gotta go grocery shopping, and I'm not looking forward to that at all. Like, at all. I do not like grocery shopping. Oh my god, I gotta pull in and go grocery shopping. Oh. It's one of the things that just ruins everything. But uh, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's go do what it do. Our little cart. Who the hell would buy this shit? Got some pomegranate seeds, a fucking coconut, a fucking mango. Like what the flip? Grocery shopping's done. I got all the goodies, all the essentials. Just some food for lunch at work, and that's really all I need. But I got some other side pieces that I could eat while I'm editing. Some weird things like pomegranate seeds, some drinks, and all of the above, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. But yeah, I just don't like grocery shopping at all. For some odd reason, I don't. And when I got back, my keys dropped in the abyss, 
in my seat and just they're gone forever pretty much like I'm surprised I even grabbed them so apparently they're not gone forever and I just lied but it felt like it like, my seats are very bad for that dropped them and I was like fishing them out for like 10 minutes it wasn't a pretty sight just because like there's a floor on the bottom of the chair obviously and then there's like a little compartment that it just fell into and I was like oh my lord like why does this have to be but it was but it was what it was right so it is what it is and it was what it does right but anyways yeah I'm gonna go home and this is probably the end of the video like I got nothing more to give I really don't like I got no more ideas I got no ways to drag this on even a little bit more so that's really all it's gonna be yeah that's gonna be the end uh, you know but what is this car doing he's like signaled in front of me like five times and he's not pulling off at all anyways cheerio cheerio